Welcome back. In this video, we will go over the anatomy of the hip bone. We have two hip bones in the body. The hip bone is also called the coxal bone or os coxi. The hip bone articulates with the head of the femur laterally. That's where the head of the femur and the hip bone forms the hip joint. On this model, we can see each hip bone this part articulates posteriorly with the sacrum. This part articulates anteriorly at the pubic symphysis. And this side articulates with the femur laterally. Before we start with the structures on each bone, first, let's identify the four surfaces on the bone. You can pick any unique structure that can help you identify these surfaces. I picked three structures. The first structure which is this entire rough surface right here. This surface is rough for a reason. This right here is the sacrum. For the sacrum to be able to hold onto the hip bone, it needs this rough surface. Otherwise, if it's on the smooth surface, it will glide off. Based on that, the sacrum and its rough surface will help you identify two things. The posterior aspect of the bone versus this is the anterior and will help you identify the medial aspect the medial which is the aspect that faces toward the organs in the pelvis the second unique structure is the acetabulum the acetabulum helps me identify the medial also versus the lateral surface of the bone the acetabulum with the head of the femur forms the hip joint you need the acetabulum to face laterally so that it can form the hip joint. The acetabulum will never face medially toward the urinary bladder, toward the uterus and ovaries. So this is the lateral aspect. And the third unique structure that I always refer to is this spine right here. This spine is always on the posterior aspect. You can also see half of the heart right here. So this spine guide me toward the posterior aspect. Based on that, this is the posterior aspect. This is the anterior aspect. This is the lateral aspect of the bone. And this is the medial aspect of the bone. Let's start with the structures on the first bone, the ilium. This right here is the ilium. This surface is the auricular surface. It looks like an ear. So this is the auricular surface. This right here is the iliac fossa. This right here is the body of the ilium. This is the greater sciatic notch. Moving toward the lateral aspect, this right here is the ala. This entire border is the iliac crest. The iliac crest, it connects two spines. We have these two and these two. Starting with this spine right here, this is the anterior. Remember, we are on the anterior aspect. This is the anterior superior iliac spine. The one underneath it is the anterior. We're still on the anterior inferior iliac spine. Moving to these two right here, this is the posterior, we are on the posterior surface, superior iliac spine, and this is the posterior inferior iliac spine. So let's repeat the structures of the ilium one more time. This is the auricular surface. This is the iliac fossa. This right here is the body of the ilium. These two right here, we have two spines and also we have two spines right here. This right here is the anterior superior iliac spine. This is the anterior inferior iliac spine. And this right here is the posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. This is the greater sciatic notch. Moving toward the lateral aspect, this is the ala. The fusion of the three bones, the ilium, 
the pubis and the ischium, they give the acetabulum. The word acetabulum means vinegar cup. This is where the head of the femur with the hip bone forms the hip joint. Moving to the second bone, which is the ischium. We sit on the ischium bone. So this right here is the ischium. Remember, we are still on the posterior aspect. The auricular surface guides you toward the posterior aspect. Also, the greater sciatic notch guides you toward the posterior aspect. Starting with the first structure on the ischium, this right here is the ischial spine. This right here is the lesser sciatic notch. So the greater sciatic notch is formed by the ilium. The lesser sciatic notch is formed by the ischium. And we sit in specific the ischial tuberosity right here. This structure, which looks like an arm, this is the ischial ramus. Let's repeat the structures on the ischium. This right here is the ischial spine. This is the lesser sciatic notch. This right here is the ischial tuberosity. And this right here is the ischial ramus. Remember, the ischium, the ilium, and the pubis, they all have a part in the acetabulum. This structure right here is the obturator foramen. Moving to the third bone, which is the pubis. On this model, you can see this is the pubis bone of this hip bone. This is the pubis bone of this hip bone. They both articulate anteriorly at the pubic symphysis. That's why it is called the pubic symphysis, because we have the two pubic bones. This is a fibrocartilage disc. First, this right here is the pubic tubercle. This right here is the pubic crest. The pubic crest is part of the superior ramus of the pubis. This right here is the inferior ramus of the pubis. Right here is the body of the pubis. So let's repeat the structures one more time. This right here is the pubis bone. This is the pubic tubercle. This is the pubic crest, which is on the superior ramus of the pubis. This entire thing is the superior ramus of the pubis. This is the body of the pubis. This right here is the inferior ramus of the pubis. This right here is the articular surface of the pubis.